in the Mediterranean, one island stands out for its religious history. It was evangelized by St. Paul and is now a place of pilgrimage. It is Malta, an island so closely associated with faith that it has more than one church or chapel for every day of the year. The island was a hidden gem for many until the most traveled pope wanted to visit. He went three times. Pope John, John Paul II put Malta on the map in terms of, of religious tourism because uh, his visit made us known to the world. He gave us the opportunity to show to the world the, the wealth of attractions that we have to, to, to offer to visiting tourists. Malta has a devotion to St. Paul, who spent three months evangelizing there after a shipwreck on his way to Rome. He was in Malta in 60 AD, just uh, 27 years after Jesus uh, was, was, was uh, killed, and he brought uh, Christianity to our islands. And uh, he's, he's got a huge following. We're very proud of the fact that uh, St. Paul was in our islands, and he brought Christianity to our people. During his visit to Malta, Pope Francis went to the grotto where St. Paul took shelter. He was the third pope to visit the island. For such a small country like Malta, to have the popes visiting every time, it's, it's a huge uh, opportunity and it's a huge pride. And after Pope Francis visited, there's been a lot of investment in refurbishing, renovating, improving our product for religious heritage. The CEO of Malta Tourism Authority says the island is home to hidden treasures and a generous and faithful people. Our blessed mother to